Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel. I'm one of the co-founders of Hotspotty. Uh, we are here with our Hotspot team. Uh, we have Max, uh, which is muted. He's also one of the co-founders. Um, we have Hafa. He's gonna, she's going to be doing the MC, organizing the whole, uh, the whole event today. Um, we have Yele, who is going to be leading the presentation. And of course, we have the Mas the master of the rack hotspots, uh, Jose, right? Um, hey. <laughs> Hello, nice to be here. <laughs> it's always good to, to be together and just like geeking out on Helium and DY and the and the rack. So um, uh, first, of, first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for joining uh, and for being part of this community. I think it's very important to, to be together and like spend some time showing what we build. Um, the, there's a lot of things happening. The market didn't stop. Uh, there's a lot of people moving to the 5G stuff. Uh, the IoT things are getting getting more exciting. Um, like let's say with the, the there's not as much uh, boom in terms of the IoT deployment, but there's a lot of things still happening, right? Like there are people deploying the sensor side of things, and that's still growing. Uh, but without further ado, I'm gonna give uh, the the word to Yale. He's gonna start doing like the the presentation. Uh, Yale. Now it's your time. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Um, so hi, everyone. My name is Jelle. I hope you guys can hear me OK. Um, you've probably not seen my face uh, around here very often yet. Um, I work mostly on the documentation. Um, I try to provide you guys with content. I try to answer all of your questions. And I'm doing a lot of different stuff. Um, so I'm very happy that I can lead these presentations today together with Rafaela. And um, what I would like to present you today is the host dashboard to start off. Um, the host dashboard is a feature that was released um, a couple of months ago, actually. And I would like to start talking about the main benefits first, and then I'm going to give you like a full demo tour of how this actually works. Um, so first of all, the host dashboard is actually a platform especially designed for uh, hosts where they can log into and have all of their information in one place. They can, for example, see um, what they are paid by a certain workspace admin, um, what commission they are currently on. Um, it just provides actually the relevant information to the host um, without you having to add your host to your workspace. So only the relevant info is uh, actually shown. Another cool feature about the um, host dashboard is that all of your conversations can be stored in there. And so there's no need to use third party applications um, to, to actually have conversations between uh, you as a workspace admin and the host. So I'm going to share my screen now. And I would like to give you a, um, a little tour around here. Okay, so I think uh, I'm sharing correctly right now. Um, I've just logged in in um, app.hotspotty.net and I'm currently here on my workspace. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over to my workspace settings. You can either do that by clicking here on your workspace and then going over to settings. Or another option is just by clicking on your uh, workspace name in the top right corner and then clicking on this little settings icon. Um, I'm just going uh, to go over to billing and plans here. For the host dashboard, you need to be on the business plan. This feature is only available for um, business plan workspaces. And by default, this option is disabled for all workspaces. So what you want to do is go over to the host dashboard tab over here. You click it and then you can just toggle the switch on in order to have the host dashboard activated. And now um, you're actually good to go. So the first thing you would like to do is have contacts in your workspace. I'm going to add a contact here just to show you how uh, this works. Let's give this contact a name. Um, I'm going to name her Ashley and we will assign an email address here. This email address will be used for the host to log in to the host dashboard. I've just set up a um, temporary email over here just to showcase you how this works. Of course, you can enter some more details such as the um, uh, phone number of the host, a text ID and so on. But for this demonstration, that's not really needed. 
but what I am going to do is add a location over here. Um, so I will add a new location and I have chosen a random address over here that I'm just going to paste. Okay, I'm just going to click it. Um, ideally, this will be the location where the host is um, hosting the actual hotspot. Let's say this hotspot is installed at a height of 10 meters, for example. We can save this. And something very important here is to add a payment method. This way, um, I can showcase you how um, hosts are getting paid and how this shows up in the host dashboard. So for this, I'm going to add an HNT uh, wallet address. So let me just um, quickly get one over here. Sorry, one second. Um, just going to the hotspot the app. Um, just going to take a random, um, a random wallet over here. I'm going to paste it. Okay, uh, I will use this as a default payment for HNT for this host. So I'm going to save this and click save again. Okay, so actually right now, this contact, um, Ashley, can already log into the host dashboard if she wants to, but there will not be a lot of information uh, yet. So Ashley can go over to uh, host.hotspotty.net. You will be brought to this um section well of course you will be signed out uh, in the beginning so ashley can just log in with her email here so i'm gonna copy the email i'm gonna paste it there's no password or anything like that you will just receive a um, code that is available for um, about one minute so you just check your mails you copy this code you paste it in and ashley now has access to uh, the host dashboard. So there's not um, a lot to see over here right now. For example, Ashley can see her email address. She can see the payment method that is linked to her. But as you can see, there are no commissions yet, no uh, payments registered, and um, there hasn't been any conversation um, yet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create an install for Ashley in order to show you what happens if she gets paid. So for this, I'm going over to the install section over here. I'm gonna add an install. Um, I'm gonna search for a hotspot. So I have one over here. Let's say Ashley um, hosts this one. Here you will get the option to either add the hotspot wallet or just add the hotspot to your workspace. Um, if you add the wallet as well, where the hotspot is linked to, you will be able to get an overview of all the uh, transactions and so on. But for now, that's not needed. We just want the hotspot. Here you can search for the location. We've already um, added the location. I'm just going to check. I'm not sure where it is. I'm just going to search for it because it should be in. Yep, in this one it is. Okay, so this is the. Uh, this is just a, a random location that I've chosen. Okay, here you can. Um, choose when the hotspot is installed at Ashley's location and when it's uninstalled. For now, we'll just say Ashley is hosting this hotspot from the 1st of September and she is still hosting. So we will leave this uninstall date blank for now. And here's the important part. How much is Ashley owned? Let's say she gets 70% of the rewards and here we will set the start date of the payments from the 1st to September and no end date. So this is very useful um, for the commission reports. Click save, click save again. And now the install is added to Ashley. So if Ashley goes over to her uh, host dashboard right now, let's refresh this. You'll see that she has a commission um, with an installation period from the 31st of August. So uh, the 1st of September and a commission period from the 31st of August. Right now, you can see that she um, has a payments and HNT card over here as well, which is showing zero HNT right now. Um, I'll quickly show you what happens if um, a, workspa a workspace admin actually pays Ashley. For that, we'll use the commission reports. 
I not go. I will not go very in depth on the commission reports right now, but I'm just going to generate one in order to show you how how this works. So I will generate a report for September only. Let's take the first of September until um, September thirtieth. Um, here you can choose for which currencies you want to generate the reports. In this case, this will only be HNT because we only have one contact. Uh, well, we actually have two, but um, both contacts in this workspace have a default payment method, which is HNT. So in this case, we have no other option than to create a, um, a commercial report in HNT. Here you can specify your time zone as well. Um, it doesn't really matter. It is like different for every single one of you guys. Then you just click generate report. And in most cases, this takes a few seconds. Um, it can take up to a minute or two. But whenever this is ready, you will just receive an email um, so that you do not need to keep waiting here. So let's open up this report. And as you can see, Ashley, we are owned Ashley 14 euros, um, which is the 70% HNT cut. So ideally, what you would like to do is pay all the contacts. I'm just going to pay Ashley here. So you have options to pay with a QR code, a JSON file, CSV, and so on. Um, not actually going to pay her now, so I'm just going to mark this as paid. Okay, so now um, it looks like we've paid Ashley. When Ashley is going to look into her host dashboard right now, it will show the payment over here. We have the payment date, the amount, the currency. Um, and here you can, for example, see how it is paid. So in this case, we have a QR code. And so this is really nice. So Ashley can uh, keep track of when she's getting paid, uh, what she's getting paid and so on. Something else um, really cool that I want to show you um, here on this payment section as well is that we have a feature that is maybe a little hidden. It's called um, registering manual payments. So for that, you would like to go, um, you can, for example, go to the map. This is another way of doing it. Uh, you can click on the contacts here. I'm going to click on Ashley. And when you go over to payments here, you can see that you have a registered payment option. This is just like a way of documenting and um, just keeping an account that I, for example, paid Ashley. So let's say Ashley had, let's say her hotspot had a little issue with the uh, antenna cable. So Ashley paid for a new antenna cable. And I am, I've paid it back to her. I just want to make sure I can um, keep track of this in the future. So I'll just say I paid her 20 euros for the cable. Um, I've done it in cash or via bank transfer, something like that. Um, the, 20, the 25th of September, just going to call it antenna cable. Click save. And now this is added ah. to Ashley as well. I yell um, it. And real quick, I think that I think one of that that feature came along because um, once we were doing like our hotspot installs beginning of last year, there was a time they were trying to drill a hole to pass the Ethernet cable, mm -hmm. and there was a fiber optics cable on the way, and the and it was really funny because the host was watching TV. It was like watching a soccer game when we were doing the install, and then yeah. for some reason the TV just went black. And then we saw that we just had drilled through the ether, through the fiber optics cable. That wasn't very happy. And then we paid the guy 50 euros and he called the, the ISP like Vodafone. Um, yeah, that was very yeah, good. And then it's a great way to tell like, okay, we, we gave him 50 euros. So that was like for tracking. Yeah, Herculean, yeah, <laughs> shit happens. Anyway, good job. Yeah, engineer. exactly. Yeah, so that's why we um, have this feature in place. Um, and so as you can see, Ashley can exactly see um, this payment over here as well. And the note gets added um, also with the manual contacts over here, just so you know that this is a manually registered payment is just to keep track of what you've paid um, and so on. So it, this has nothing to do with the commission reports. It's just an extra feature that we have. Okay, so this is for the info, the commission, and the payments. Then we have uh, one more cool feature here in the host dashboard, and that's messages. So 
what Ashley can do here is if she, for example, has a question for the workspace admins, she can just type it here like, hi, I have an issue with my antenna, something like that. Um, when you click send, there will be sent an email to the workspace admins and they will be able to open it via the workspace. Um, so in this case, um, let's just go back to Ashley. Yeah, it will show up here under the host messages. I have an issue with my antenna and me as the workspace admin can just reply to this. Um, I will help you out and Ashley will receive an email that I've responded and it shows up immediately here in the host dashboard as well. So these are like all of the features um, that we have right now for the host dashboard uh, with more to come. And there's one thing that I want to mention on this. Of course, Ashley can be added to multiple workspaces. So right now, Ashley is just added to Hotspotty courses, but it could be that she is added to another workspace that also has the, uh, the host dashboard activated. And it could be that she has also a contact named Ashley and there with her email address. Well, what will happen then? The second workspace will show up here and then she can just click on the second workspace and it will switch all of the information to that other workspace she is in. And so in every single workspace that has the host dashboard activated where Ashley is in, it will just show up here um, on top and she can just easily switch between all of these workspaces. So yeah, um, I would like uh, you guys to test this out and all the feedback is appreciated. And that's about it for the host dashboard right now. Yeli, uh, yeah, thank you, Yeli. I think uh, does it worth perhaps show to uh, our users how to provide this link to their hosts? Because sometimes some people, they get confused. So if you can just show that, it would be great. Okay, so for that, you can just go over to host.hotspotty.net and by this, oh, sorry, it's because it's HTTPS. So whenever you go to host.hotspotty.net, you will automatically go to this login, to this login screen, and you just need to enter your email here. You will receive a verification code that lasts one minute. When you enter that code, um, you will be in. So yeah. Not sure if that answers the question. Yeah, I think that's good. Some people, they just are confused about that. So I also want to point the main benefits for using the host dashboard. That it using the host dashboard, it's now just available for the business plan. Perhaps we can think in something different in the future, but uh, it's very important to have all the information for your hosts just in one place. So it also brings transparency to your hosts and it's gonna be like a huge time saver because you don't need to keep like using WhatsApp or other ways to contact, to ask, oh, how much, how much I have to, uh, how, much, uh, how much you need to pay me or something like that. So if you provide the link, all your, ho all your host hosts can have this access in a very easy and transparent way. So just add this. If Max or Danny wants to add something else, just feel free. Um, yeah, I mean, there's one last feature that is almost in production is that uh, we also be able to show the chart. So for example, if you, your hotspot earns like X amount per day and uh, you do like a 50% commission and the person logging into the host dashboard is going to be able to see the chart of the day multiplied by 50%. So whatever the person is earning per day, it's going to be, be able to check. So I think this will be live like in the next week or so. Yeah, and another thing is the, the white label solution, which is also almost ready. It's ready in, in uh, staging, but essentially it will allow workspaces to have their own like logo and their own custom domain uh, in order to uh, provide basically a white label solution uh, to their um, hosts. Like basically their hosts will see their logo instead of the hotspot logo. That's something we've been working on as well. So now we have uh, another feature that Yel is gonna present to us that is 
it's our mobile app Hotspot Connect. So feel free, now it's your time, Yeli. Absolutely. Um, so I will start again by talking about like the main benefits. So Hotspot Connect is a mobile application that is available for Android and iOS devices. Um, I think Rafaela will provide the links in the chat if you haven't um, installed our application yet. So what you can do via, via Hotspot Connect is you can, first of all, use it to onboard new hotspots to the blockchain, uh, which is one part. You can uh, use our very cool chat functionality to um, talk between a wallet and a hotspot, like to, to chat from a wallet to a hotspot. I'm going to um, show you in a minute how that works. Um, you can also get an overview of like all of your wallet transactions. Um, you have the ability to add multiple wallets just to keep track of them in one application. Um, you can run diagnostics for your hotspots via Hotspot Connect and so on and so on. So I'll quickly share my screen over here. Okay. So um, if you go over, I'm going to present this from an iPad. So in this case, I'm uh, demonstrating from iOS. When you go over to the App Store, you can just go to uh, Hotspot Connect, and it should be the first one that pops up. Yep, over here. Um, it's very easy to install. You then just click on open, and this is the uh, screen that you will get. So welcome to Hotspot Connect. Uh, get started. Here are our main features again. So you have the Hotspot onboarding. You have um, the chat functionality. And to get started, you will need to link your wallet. So you have three options to link your wallet. First of all, you can open the uh, new Helium Wallet app, which will use the deep link functionality in order to just um, use your wallet in uh, Hotspot Connect. This is the option that we recommend. It's the fastest option. It's the safest op option. It's the easiest one. Um, so definitely install the new Helium Wallet app if you want to use Hotspot Connect. Another option is to use the older uh, Helium Hotspot app with the blue uh, logo, like the blue icon. Um, but this application is not being updated anymore and is going to be discontinued soon. So we do not really recommend you using um, this application. And then you can also enter your wallet manually. Well, please know that if you enter your wallet address, we will not ask you to provide your 12 or 24 um, uh, word key, key phrase. So that also means that you cannot use the full functionality um, of Hotspot Connect, which for example, includes the chat functionality that will be unavailable. So for this example, I will use the new Helium Wallet app. Um, I've just set up a, um, a test wallet over here. So this wallet is uh, called Yale. I just click on yes, link my wallet. And there you go. So that's like everything you need to do in order to connect uh, your wallet to Hotspot Connect. It's as easy as uh, two clicks. So you have a lot over here. At the top, you can see my wallet. Um, with like my address on under there, you can just click add wallet if you want to um, link another one to it. I'm not gonna do that for now. Uh, something very cool is that you can give your wallet a name here by clicking on the three um, parallel lines in the uh, top right corner. When you click on the pencil icon, you can give your wallet a name. So I'm just gonna call it uh, yellow, for example. Click save. So yeah, now the name uh, changed. So here you can see the HNT amount of this uh, wallet, the amount of mobile tokens, um, the amount of hotspots that link that is linked to this wallet. Um, for now, for this wallet, there are no hotspots linked, and the amount of messages um, that are outbound and inbound. And under there, you can see the transactions, which you can filter on rewards, payments, um, hotspots and validators, and burn transactions. So um, this normally just takes a few seconds to load and it comes directly from the blockchain. Um, this little plus icon here in the bottom right corner is used to onboard a new uh, hotspot. So we have a lot of different um, options here to choose from. Um, I will just um, show you this minted slash rec option, for example. 
Um, you cannot see this on the screen, but it will ask me to um, turn on my location for now. So I will click accept. This is um, for asserting uh, a new hotspot to the blockchain. It will use your GPS location. Um, and it's as easy as just following the steps. So for, uh, for example, we just need to power on, uh, accept this. Then you put your hotspot in uh, Bluetooth pairing mode. So most hotspots have a button in order to go um, to pairing mode. And some other hotspots just need a little unplug and you plug it back in and it will go into pairing mode for the first five minutes. So yeah, then you just scan for your hotspot and you're good to go. Um, something else I want to show you is the other uh, settings and options that you have in the top right corner. So. I've just showed you how you can change the name of your wallet. You can also see the messages. Um, going to show you that in a second. But you can also choose to change your hotspot Wi-Fi or to run diagnostics. If you choose one of those options, it will ask you to connect to your hotspot via Bluetooth. And then you can simply um, change your Wi-Fi if you want to or run some diagnostics. Um, if you think something is wrong with your connection, um, this is a very easy uh, way to do it. All right, you also have the unlink wallet option if you just want to unlink your wallet uh, for some reason. So yeah, there you go. I will go to messages for now, for example. And I have uh, tried to send a message already to Chili Boysenberry Alpaca, which is just one of the hotspots I know out of my head. Okay, so yeah, if I send a message to this, um to this hotspot let's say hi again this person if he or she also has hotspot connect um, installed and is logged in with the wallet that has this hotspot attached to it he or she will receive a notification push, not push notification on um, his or her device and then she or he can easily respond back so how does this work i actually sent a message from my wallet to Chili Boysenberry Alpaca. And then if the person responds, it will come from his or her wallet to um, the hotspot again. So yeah, that's how the uh, chat functionality works. You can also delete a conversation by just holding um, your finger on the name of the hotspot or like the conversation and click on delete. So yeah, uh, that's it for Hotspot Connect. And I'd love to hear about the live diagnostics now. Hello, everyone. So it's Rafael again. Thank you, Yeli. Um, Yeli, can you please show a little bit about the live diagnostics? Uh, I just want to add to the Hotspot Connect that uh, we have partnered with RAC, main, Minted, and Jose is here. He's going he's gonna to talk a, a little bit more about this. But uh, we are planning to also have some diagnostics uh, in our app displaying to in the future to display to minted e users so they can also check all the options that we have now in our web page. So if we can just show to to the people what kind of information we are displaying now would be great. Yeah, so um... When you go over to, for example, app.hotspot.net again, and I will ch just choose a random hotspot here. In this case, I choose from, one from Calchip because this is the only integration um, that we have at the moment. You will see this show diagnostics option over here, and it will give you like a lot of information um, that is relevant to this hotspot. So you get information regarding the connectivity by the hardware, the software. Um, I mean, this is very nice to quickly check if something is wrong with your internet connection. Um, but sometimes it's just cool to see um, what kind of like SD card is in one of the other hotspots or what is the temperature of this current hotspot, like so on and so on. It's also good to like check if your hotspot is behind a certain um, firmware version. You can always check it via here. So yeah, um, this is where you can find the, the remote diagnostics for minted and uh, rag devices. Yeah, it was really good. Thanks, uh, Yale and Joseph for providing the data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think now we have uh, Jose. Jose wants to explain a little bit more. Thank you, Jose, for being here with us. So now it's your time. Uh, we 
we invited you just to explain why this partnership is going to be helping uh, minted users and mm -hmm. and we are going to provide every all this information and much more in the future for free for them um yeah feel free to talk okay. a little bit more for the main reasons for this partnership of course yeah i'll be happy to uh, can you can you hear me right okay um yeah so rack decided on this partnership because we wanted to offer data on, on our hotspots to our users. This has been a very, very a highly requested feature. People just want to know what's going on inside their hotspot without pairing over Bluetooth. Uh, but at the same time, we had to make sure that the information was secure. Like There were a lot of problems with uh, manufacturers who had local dashboards, so just a web page you'd open on the web hotspot. Uh, people were just forwarding that to the internet without any uh, access control. So people, for a, for a while, you could kind of search on Google for hotspots and kind of get dashboards from random people and kind of reboot stuff. There were some rootkits, so security was was quite bad. So we wanted to make sure that we we wouldn't repeat that. Uh, and for us, that means sending the data to uh, our servers remotely. Uh, we also wanted to offer this data through various ways, so not just one dashboard. So we wanted to offer it through an app, through a dashboard, through our partners like you, uh, because that helps people who have a lot of some big deployments and they have multiple vendor deployments. Uh, all, all those people want to get uh, live data from their hotspots. Uh, and also, we think it's important for a public network, so where you are, where people are deploying IoT devices, uh, they they should know what's going on around them. So if their device is not connected to the network, they should be able to get diagnostics data or at least some information about the hotspot that their device is using. Uh, I think this is, and Helium doesn't really provide enough details on on Explorer, so if you go there, you don't see, you just see that the hotspot is maybe witnessing other hotspots, but you don't see many other details. Uh, they are improving this now with 5G, but on the IoT side, that was still lacking. So that, that was the reason, and for us, it was like a no-brainer to partner with Hotspot because you guys have the most integrated platform of all. You have, uh, you can go on your site and do simulations, you can manage rewards, uh, you can understand reward scaling, which is something not everyone uses, and and it and even Helium refers that to your side. So that's uh, really, I mean, it was yeah, simple option to go with you. That's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you for trusting us. We are. It's just the beginning. We really hope to keep improving and providing much more for the community. Um, yeah. So uh, I would like to also, we have some questions here that some people are asking about if you can provide more details about the information that you have already, you have already provided to us through uh, your API. So if you can just explain a little bit about that, it would be amazing. So yeah, so this is what we currently offer. Uh, really already went over this before. So if we go here on status, just get diagnostics. So this diag diagnostics is data that is updated every 15 minutes from the hotspot directly. It's sent to our cloud and then uh, hotspot uh, receives the data every hour. So all the, all these 15 minute reports. Of the hotspot, and that's what you show, what you see here in the internet connection health history. So it's all these reports that hotspot has been collecting over, over this uh, uh, twenty-four hour period. Uh, it's some people ask what what is the internal connection and external connection. So internal just means that it's uh, connected to your like Wi-Fi router or your internet router, and external is all the way to the internet. And we do this just to help people diagnose uh, internal problems. Because like if you have a firewall enabled, for example, you would see that the internal connection is good, but then the external uh, has failed. Uh, so this is uh, just to help people. Uh, also, internet connection type is useful. We, we're showing Wi-Fi right now. 
but this this is the information that we can add to so we can uh, we can easily extend this data and we'll be extending it with more information in the future like wi-fi it can kind of indicate uh, what's the signal quality for example that that is a typical problem where uh, the wi-fi signal is just too weak and the hotspot keeps uh, failing to connect uh, so something we can add there and you will see it in a future update uh, you will also see like stuff like the last LoRa packet received. Uh, here we'll have some details about the last LoRa packet. Uh, so what kind of device was it? Was it like a beacon or was it an IoT device? You'll be able to see it. Uh, we have to kind of manage the information to keep it uh, not not like not to evade privacy. So we have to keep it anonymized a little bit, but uh, we try to make it still helpful. Uh, then you have the RAM, which is important if you want to kind of consider future upgrades to the hotspot. And the SD card also, uh, one detail is that here you see the, the quantity and this is the model number. Uh, but you, if you, if the card had some problem, you would see a her error message here. So to say error, just so uh, you know that the card is not writing anymore or that the lifetime has is finished. Uh, if I click on here so we can see the temperature is okay, 36.2. If you click on maybe this one here, let's see. Let's run diagnostics. Yeah, so the temperature is a little bit higher. Again, uh, this isn't a problem. The, the temperature will only be a problem when it reaches 80 degrees centigrade. Uh, that's where the CPU of the miner will start throttling and you might miss some beacons, but it's still uh, good information uh, but we are yes we are going to extend this data so you'll see more stuff about LoRa packet received and uh, more stuff about the connection to the internet as well I'm interested to see like in in like January February we go to like code places and just play mm -hmm. around with the rec hotspots there like in a code region and see how code the CPU can be yeah, that'll be cool. And uh, yeah, maybe you can have historical data in, in the future as well, you know, for sure. Yeah. No, that's super cool. I'm super excited that this was live. Yeah, it's been a great work and, and it's all free. So it's available to everyone. You don't need to be a subscriber of Hotspot. You can just go on Hotspot and, and check it uh, as you can do for reward scaling and all the other super useful features that you guys have. Well, if you want to be a subscriber, we are more than half, but through this partnership, <laughs> for sure, but um, through this partnership, uh, this integration has been sponsored by RAC, so it's free for the community. And we still have plans for the future that Joseph probably is going to share a little bit. I'm not sure if um, Max or Danny wants to make any kind of comment or say something before that. I think what sucks no. is that you don't no. all the other manufacturers don't have this, so you can't go on, can't click on their hotspots and get information. Yeah, I mean that <laughs> on a good side is a good is a good reason to go and buy right hotspots instead of other manufacturers, right? You guys add so many other cool things. Yeah, yeah, we try to. Yeah, uh, we are also working on adding the same information to the hotspot connect app so that you can use use this from the mobile. Um, yeah. yeah, there's a lot of cool things coming yeah. up. I can't wait to show you guys. Yeah, mm -hmm. me too. And I, I just want to say thank you again for Joseph because it, it's been a real pleasure working with you. It's, it's a really reliable uh, maker. Mm -hmm. And that's something very important when you are considering to buy your hotspots. And in the, we are planning to, to have some kind of giveaway with... Mm -hmm. Uh, with rag so let's we keep you posted guys as soon as we have it i think in, in the meantime it's good to just quickly um mention that we have a documentation website as well where you guys can find like all of the um information about our features written out just quickly gonna show uh you guys the documentation so uh when you go over to docs.hotspotty.net you'll find all of the categories over here and we have a very sleek search tool over here as well that you can use um, 
if there's something that you don't, do not find or that you want to have some more information about. So for example, here we have a Hotspot E101 video as well, which includes a lot of getting started guides and um, what are like some cool features that you can use on Hotspot E. Here we have all of our features written out um, and most of them include some videos as, as well. If you're not really a reader, but if you like uh, seeing it visually, well, um, this documentation is definitely something for you. Um, for example, I've talked about Hotspot e Connect as well. If you're not sure how to set up something, here is everything written out. Um, Daniel also made a very cool video here um, demonstrating the chat functionality uh, with two devices. So if you'd like to see how this works, I definitely recommend taking a look at this video. And something very cool as well here is that I try to keep you guys up to date with like an FAQ. So if I feel like there are very important questions that are um, asked a lot of the time, well, here you can find the answers to them. And I'm trying to update this every single week. So if you feel like something is missing here or you want something to be added, feel free to reach out to me uh, via Discord or um, one of the team members will um, be very happy to assist via our intercom uh, chat and so on. So yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention this, that we have this documentation where you can find um, a lot of information as well. Thank you. Thank you, Yeli. I also have something to mention, to add to that. So I have just dropped a link tree here, so where you can find all these links about documentation, um, mobile app, and I have added, um, we have, uh, now we have a UX user experience team that is really working hard hard to get the best tools possible to you guys. And we have created some surveys. So I have added all surveys here in this link. So if you want to help us to improve our tool it would be great. Even like uh, you can have some kind of rewards uh, coupon code if you help us answering this surveys. So yeah, I just share this information here as well. Um, so yeah, so we're in process of um, growing the team already. So we, so what happened in the hot, we can have a hot spotty one that was released in November, 2020. We had hot spotty 2.0. That's what we currently have. And now we're working on hot spot we call 3.0, uh, which is gonna be like, we're gonna start adding multiple projects into hot spot. So we have, we're gonna have Helium IoT. We're gonna now focus on Helium Mobile and also Poly Mobile and starting to become like a multi-protocol DY uh, space. Because we, we, what we realized that Hotspot is actually a framework that works for the whole space. Uh, and we believe that we can bring a lot of value to the ecosystem to make it actually grow and to go to the next level. Uh, for example, a contact is one person that can host like a Helium IoT device, but it can also host a Helium 5G device and a Polling device. So it's very easy for you to use this in multiple places. Um, it's still something that we are working on. It's going to take like maybe a couple months, but it's going to come. And if you guys have any ideas, any things that you think you'd like to see in the platform as well, things that uh, pain points. And also with the whole change for Helium to Solana, there, there are going to be a lot of new opportunities as well, things that we want to add and offer as service. So there's not much I can tell you right now, but there's a lot going in the back. Uh, and I'm really excited for that. That's really good to share, Danny. So people can can see that we are moving forward to with the technology, 5G, and everything that is is needed. So yeah, we are working hard, guys. <laughs> um, I don't know if anyone wants to make a question or say something else to the moment. Yes. Any question? <laughs> Yeah, I guess uh, then we can finish uh, here. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone. Thank uh, Joseph for coming. Thank Yelly and Hafa for organizing this. Uh, let's try to make this more at least once a month. And uh, hopefully next time, I'm going to keep on showing new features and new features and new, new cool things that happen in, um, in the DY ecosystem, right? Because it's still early. Uh, there's a lot to be done, a lot of work to be 
everything that we, we want to be close from you guys. So like, if you have any questions, please, we're very approachable, uh, either like Jose or anyone from Hot Party team. We're here to make this space grow and uh, go to the moon together in the same ship. <laughs>